Okay, well, welcome back. I'm finally getting back on my project uh, to build the swirl filter with a convex shape on the bottom. So here's the first barrel here on the right that I've started on. And the one on the left I'll be doing on film here to show you kind of what I did. But here's the inside. You can see very well. Let me take this top bucket out. So that's got not all the bottom cut out. So the water comes up through the entrance here, goes in, comes up to the top of the bucket, and then falls down. And the solids will fall down to the bottom. Now if you can see the shape down there, it's got uh, a little bit of convex on there. And I've got a two inch bulkhead fitting down there. So let me pull these barrels down and I'll show you the bottoms. Okay, here's what the bottoms look like. Now you can see how they normally are shaped there. They usually go up. So this part's sticking up. Um, this one I've heated up and forced that down so it's got convex in there a little bit better. This next one I'm going to try to make even a little bit uh, profound on there and uh, that should help the solids come out a little, a little better. So let me take that burr over there and I'll get started and show you how I did that. Alright, so the first thing I did was uh, find where the center is. I got a screw in there. Then I'm going to cut my circle out here for the, where the bucket drops in. Now before I do that, I did that on the first one. And on this one, uh, I'm going to cut just a smaller hole in the center here. And the reason is, I'm putting that over the top of this 4 inch PVC pipe. I've just got it braced on a block here. That's just something so I can put this barrel upside down on top of here and I made a frame to go around there and I'll heat that and that's what's going to give it the, uh, the the bow in the bottom. But what I found on the first one I had the big hole around there and it would kind of flop back and forth. So this one I'm going to cut a four inch hole in there and that should uh, make it a little more stable. So let me uh, get started on cutting this out. Okay, to make my uh, round cut, I just found the center and took half the distance of what I wanted of that bucket from here to here. Made me a string, half that distance, and just used the marker. Just went around it and marked it, so that's how I did that. So I'll cut this out, and this is my smaller hole that's going to fit over that uh, four inch PVC pipe. Okay, for that I just used a jigsaw with a fine metal cutting blade that cuts through there pretty easily. So now let me put it up on the pipe here and I'll show you what I've got uh, designed for that. Okay, the bottom of the barrel it's got that ridge welding seam on there. Here's the center, so I'm going to drill me a hole in there. Uh, and that will sit on this screw here to kind of keep it centered. I didn't do that on the last one and I had trouble keeping that centered as I was melting it to, to mold down over that. So this should help keep it centered better. Now first I'm going to take a little grinder and just grind that off a little bit because I'll have to do that some point when I go to put my bulkhead fitting on there. Okay, well I just used a little grinder with a grinder metal grinding bit on it and just smooth that out a little bit. When this gets molded out, um, I'll be able to grind that off flush with it. Uh, so for now that's as deep as I can go. So I'll go ahead and put me a hole in the center and uh, put my, so that will fit up on here. Okay, well that's setting up there on that PVC, so it gets it off the ground. So now I've got a jig I made here to set up on top of that. So that just sets out there on the edges 
and I've got I'll put some bricks on here to give it some weight and then I can heat all this in here and let it let the weight of that mold around that four inch because I want that all the solids to drain down there and I've got to have it where that bulkhead fitting will still seal properly on that bottom so let me get the weights on there alright so you can see what that frame does it allows these paver stones here to sit around and add weight on here so I'm trying to keep all the weight around the outside so that I can heat this part here and like I said this one I drilled just that four inch hole in the top whereas the other one I had the full size the full bucket 10 inches and it would flop back and forth when I was trying to put those weights on so this was a lot easier and having that center I know exactly where the center is so now you can already see the weight is pushing that up so now I gotta heat all that and let the weight pull that down and make that convex bottom so let me get the torch here and I just used uh, well I tried tried a uh, paint scraper and it wasn't hot enough wasn't fast enough for me so I'd use the cutting torch there but that would melt it and this would too but you got to keep moving it so you just heat it just go like that just heat around and around let me get it started then maybe I can do this with uh, both hands here so I just want to keep doing that keep the torch moving leave it in one spot and you're going to burn through Okay, well that was less than a minute heating that around there. If you can kind of tell how much that's shaped there. I think it's kind of hard to tell on the screen here. My torch is running out of fuel, so I'm going to have to change tanks here. But I want to heat that again some more. And you can kind of see where the 4-inch head is around here. So I want to keep that where it's going to come up, where that bulkhead will set in there. You can see in. No, can't see through there. All right, let me change a uh, new torch here and I'll heat her some more. Okay, well, I probably heated that for in total um, maybe three minutes. Just going slow round circles. You can see it's really bowed up there, so I think that's got the effect that I wanted. But, uh, I'm going to leave these bricks on here and let it set for tonight and I'll come back tomorrow and take a look at it and I'll uh, do a video of that and kind of show you what it looks like and then cut my two inch hole in there for the bulkhead fitting and I'll make sure that's going to seal good so I'll show you that tomorrow so if you enjoyed this uh, please subscribe and leave any comments uh, any suggestions you might have on this I appreciate anything like that. Um, so, look for you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.